Uh, so today's Thursday. We're doing a throwback. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, what it is yet? We're we're gonna just kind of dive into it and see what happens. So you ready? Yep. Let's do the ring a ding ding. Let's do this ring ding. Yo, welcome to the show, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Natural Habitat Podcast, and my name is Mikey Buya. My name is Albert Nokia. Now we were uh, we were heading into the studio this morning, and as I as I drove into the parking lot, I saw what looked like some sort of zombie outbreak that was happening within the area around the studio. And um, what I was told by a passerby when I was coming in is that our studio is some sort of a pokey stop or something like that, where uh, a bunch of people are coming and collecting Pokemon for the new Pokemon Go game. And there was uh, Pat and Nat was out there. We finally met Pat and Nat. We didn't talk to him because they were trying to find Pokemon, but we found out that um, that it's a man and a woman. It's uh, Patricia and Nathan. So we got that all you know, figured out. That's good. Nice. And, um, let's see, Jerry's out there and everybody was out there playing Pokemon Go. The whole studio was closed. Everything was locked up. Nothing, none of the preamps were warmed up. None of our tubes were buzzing. Nothing was happening. It was just all black, all darkness and dead as if it was a power outage. And we had to come in and breathe life into the studio. So that's what we're doing. And I think that, um, you know, coming in here this morning, it reminded me of uh, of how how crazy cell phones have escalated since our childhood. Whoa, that's a fucking huge leap there. You, you what? You don't like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I mean, what is? I guess I guess you get like phone nostalgia from Pokemon Go. I haven't played the game, but I don't see. The connection. See, I haven't, uh, I haven't played the game either, but <laughs> <laughs> burn. Mm-hmm. It's true. <laughs> All right, so this is what's happening. We're both talking right. Pokemon Go, the biggest game in the world, and neither of us have played it. We're just. I'm telling you. Here's my theory. Okay. All right. Um, what else could it be besides the fucking NSA or CIA or, and FBI and shit? Think just, about it. Just getting know? a constant like, camera feed. Yes, it's a constant. It it has your location because it's on your phone. Uh-huh. You share it with all your friends so it knows everybody you know. Uh-huh. And it constantly watches your face as you share everywhere you go. Yeah, so it can see what's you know? in front of you and your face. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what else could it be? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck else could it be? Yeah. I honestly don't, like, I don't really, like, um, Facebook Messenger. A lot of people stopped using that. Because of how they could turn, read your messages and how like turn you on know, your microphone and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, and how they were able to like access all the shit that was like unreasonable, you know. Well, what the fuck is Pokemon Go got access to? You know, like what, think about that shit. Think think about how it works just in the first place. Like it it looks at nothing and adds images to nothing. You know what I mean? Like it's a fucking it it makes your physical world part of the game. Yeah. Well, that's all it needs to do, right? Here, let's tell you that this is what this is, and we're gonna re- fucking court everything. Yeah, it's like I don't we, even think about it. <laughs> yeah, look at they went in every business, every building, every fucking everything everywhere. Yeah. They put these fucking gyms, these trainer gyms everywhere, like on police stations or churches or like every. They just infiltrated the entire country through Pokemon Go. Booyakasha. Look up the app maker. The app maker's only made like four games. Yeah, it it uh, it initially was big for this name this game called Ingress and it's the same thing. It's the same sort of augmented reality game that's based mm-hmm. on you traveling places, walking around, using your camera, pointing it at things. And yeah, it really is just a constant feed. It's like fucking uh it's it's <laughs> like like that radar thing from Batman. 
Yeah, so uh, y'all can have it. Yeah, Go ahead some, with that nonsense. That's some crazy shit, man. I don't even yeah. think about it. Keep giving away our positions. You know, mm-hmm. Keep showing them all the terrors where we live at. Go ahead and fucking um, help these fucking homegrown sales survive and thrive yeah. by, by using Pokemon Go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what to say. It's like, it's like the same thing I heard that Grand Theft Auto. I heard the game Grand Theft Auto was going to do a version where like they did the entire country. Uh-huh. And they were like legit gonna put the whole country and all the streets, everything. Like they were gonna do like, um, like uh, Google Maps. Yeah, it was gonna or whatever. be based off and Google was, Maps. Yeah, it was gonna be the whole fucking country. And I was like, that has to be the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. You're basically like giving every street, every fucking thing to everybody in the country. You know, it's like, or everybody in the world. I mean, it's like anybody can fucking learn America without even being here. Yeah. Through a video game that they're gonna obsess over every day. You know, it's like, it's my, they might as well be here. Some of these video games are so real like that already. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, like it's legit places like I've been to and seen and walked myself, you know what I mean? Like motherfucking real shit. And I can't believe like. Yeah. It seems like a little much. Yeah. It's like, it puts all of us at risk. I think, I think it definitely puts everybody at risk. Pokemon Go is like, come on. That's going to do way more harm than it's going to help in the long run. I guarantee it, you know? Yeah, that shit's crazy. And how huge did it get in fucking just... One week. Yeah, one week. It was the fucking most top downloaded app, over a million downloads. There was memes everywhere. Everybody had something to say about it. It has to be fucking (laughs) millions upon millions because, like, look, the entire internet is taking over. I got over, like, 3,500 people on my Facebook. Uh Uh-huh. And that's all I see. Yeah. So, you Me too. know, that's a fucking, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there, there's way too many and, people. And people people from all ages, too, because it appeals to the older people that were into Pokemon when they were kids. Yeah, but it's a kid's game. But it's a kid's game, so kids still play it. Yeah. And, yeah, it's a weird thing, man. It's fishy. It's a weird thing. You know what else is weird? What's that? Cell phones are weird. That was a weird transition. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, if you think about it, like, yeah. look at what they're doing to us now, you know? like Yeah, it's weird. There there was a time not that long ago when everybody had the Nokia 1100, and it didn't have, you know, built-in camera location. Fucking, they didn't have shit. All this, like, you know, live streaming, sending information to whoever all the time, whoever has yeah. access to it, which is pretty much anybody. Yeah, I mean, like, smartphones yeah. in general are fucking... A trip to me. There was a like, time, there there was a time when cell phones, like phones, turned into cell phones. No, no, no. Let me back up. Phones turned into car phones. Car phones turned into cell phones that you had to carry a giant battery pack with. That turned into like a Zach Morris phone from Say by the Bell, and then that turned into the Nokia phone. And then somewhere along the lines, it phone went away and it turned into a mobile device. So. People don't even use their phones or mobile devices for phone calls. Like um, most of it is surfing the web, social media. Well, even the car phone at first, it was a satellite phone. Yeah. And satellite phones been around since like the fucking 70s because they used them in the military. And shit. So that's what it was like the first gen. And All right. And then here. it became a mobile device. I say, I say that we get into a smoke sesh and then get into a brief history of these cell phones for kids that have, you know, I'm sure that there's people listening that grew up with cell phones that had a cell phone when they were in grade school. Somebody bought them a little fucking razor phone and they've just had cell phones ever since. You know what I mean? So people aren't used to it, but before we get into that, we have a great track and, um, this is the self proclaimed best song ever. Do you know that? Nope. This is called banana phone song. Best song ever. This is out of all songs, not just songs about phones, not just songs about bananas. All songs, best song ever. Well, it's here. You ready? You taking a dab? No. Oh, shit. Got some flour. What are you smoking on today? We haven't really gone over that um, for a while. A blunt. Oh, you smoking that blunt? What about? Nice, nice. Actually, my girl wrote the blunt. <clears throat> well, she sounds like a sweetheart. Yeah. That's always that's always good to have a girl to roll blunts for you. It's like that's 
What else does a man need in his life? Nothing. Nothing. Maybe a lighter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Some smoking. type of heat source. Maybe a magnifying glass in the sun. Mm-hmm. That'll work. I've done yeah. it before. Me too. Uh, I'm smoking on some true OG right now. Oh, yeah? And I've been trying to get my hands on this wedding cake, that new strain that's going around. It's always sold out. So if you live in my area, Central California, stop buying all the wedding cake. Everybody out there, flick your bics, snap your pics, and hashtag them NHP Smoke Sesh. Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. I've got this feeling so appealing for us to get together and sing, sing. Ring, 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 banana phone. <laughs> ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. It grows in bunches. It's the best, beats the rest Cellular, modular, interactive, modular Ring, 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 ring Banana phone <laughs> Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping Banana phone It's no baloney It ain't a phony My cellular, bananular phone Don't need quarters, don't need dimes To call a friend of mine Don't need computer or TV To have a real good time I'll call for pizza, I'll call my cat I'll call the warehouse, I'll He's going to call the White House with a terrorist threat? Is that what he said? I don't know, but he said, Bay, jing, 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 jing. That's a cool <laughs> ring. I like that. Uh, but jing, jing, jing. Yep, that was dope. I don't know about best song ever, but it was pretty good. A best song ever. Yeah, it was definitely up there in the list. It was a best song. So, not uh, the. <laughs> yeah, not the. A, it should have said a best song ever. Yeah. That would have been good. In, like, you know, the top one million list. It's in there somewhere. Possibly. It's between two. And a million. All right. That's where it sits. Um, so the very first mobile telephone call was made on April 3rd, 1973 by in a space. guy named Martin Cooper. Was it in space? Uh, it was not in space, but Motorola. Oh, wait a minute. That's bullshit. Motorola was the manufacturer that made the communication between the astronauts that landed on the moon and you know uh Houston but this was the first mobile telephone device handheld portable device thing but the technology was used for astronauts and shit which is crazy that it took so long for service to i mean still i don't get full bars you know in templeton when i'm fucking like driving on the freeway i go through dead zones and shit and i'll lose it if i'm listening to something on soundcloud it's done if I'm on the phone, it'll drop out. But back in the day, they could fucking talk to astronauts on the moon with the same technology. So they've yeah. been uh, they've been giving us that slow trickle, that little. Well, that that was my only point, anyways. Is that um, the technology was around for a long time before we got it? Yeah, that that well, that fucking they were using it ever since the yeah. astronauts. They had to like figure they out. Called, they called here from space with the satellite phone. Yeah, and they That's were like, that. "Hey guys, what's for dinner?" First phone ever. Probably from the moon. <laughs> What's up? Yep. Still here on the moon chilling. Mm -hmm. And it's funny. Uh, Hold on. You got my voicemail. Leave a message. <laughs> there was a voicemail before there was even phones. <laughs> Remember when that was a thing too? That was like such a popular thing. Like when everybody got their first phone, they're fucking, it they, was funny to leave like a funny message like that. Yeah. The prank voicemail. Yeah. Fuck everybody it. was so unoriginal. Be like, hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Psych. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Here, this is what we're going to do for you guys out here that have mobile phones. We're going to provide you with a free voicemail. You know how people do that? Like artists do that and like celebrities and shit. They'll like record a, vo a voicemail for you for your phone. Sure. All right. Well, we're going to do one right now. So uh, we'll do it together instead of it being like a solo thing. So you ready? We need some dead space in here. Yo, what up? This is Mikey Booyah from the Natural Habitat Podcast. And this is... That's right. My motherfucking co-host. So, you have called... Voicemail. Leave a message. Yeah. Peace. Alright, there you go. Now, just chop that out. Put that in. Figure out a way to get that on your phone. I don't know. Fuck it. There's gotta be a way to do it. <laughs> there and you then, go, uh, in insert your name. So, that's free from us. Yep. Merry but, uh, Christmas, motherfucker. 
<clears throat> yeah, like I was watching um I was watching Lethal Weapon the other day. Because they just added them all onto Netflix. I highly recommend people go back and check out Lethal Weapon if you haven't seen it in a long time. The first one is golden. It fucking totally stands up. And uh, I I noticed this cell phone that was in the film that people were using. The bad guy had one. Uh, Danny Glover had one. And it was uh, it was like a big fucking, like a miniature briefcase. Like maybe the size of a trapper keeper. And yeah. a little bit fatter, and that was the fucking real satellite phone. Yeah, and if and you had to every time that they were making calls, they were up on a bridge or up on top of a building. You had to be somewhere high. You had to put up the antenna and shit. Yeah, to put up the antenna, and it only had like it only had like a thirty minute talk time. See, and that's what battery. I mean. Like that's like a fucking basic military phone. Yeah, just churched up to make it nice. And dumbed down to give to people. You yeah, know? and available to the public. Yeah. And the shit was expensive as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like a rich- And think about how long they had it before we got it. Yeah. And then uh, and then I know that the first, like, smartphones were, like, planners and Blackberries and shit that doctors used. It was, like, if you were a doctor, then you had this, like, smartphone that had all these gadgets in it. But you didn't really have a purpose for that if you weren't. It was like only people in like the medical field had these things. And then it turned into. Yeah, they were personal like assistants. They weren't even like phones really. Yeah. And. They uh just happened to make calls too. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Yeah. So uh, I have. Um... Blackberry was its own thing. Blackberry was like a phenomenon. <laughs> like before the original iPhone came out or anything like that, BlackBerry was it. Yeah. And nobody was fucking with it. Other smartphones came out or whatever, touch screens, shit like that. People were like, no, I'm going to stick with my BlackBerry because it had like the the ball roller thing and it fucking, I don't know, it just had like different contacts and like different other things that were useful. You know, it was like an actual useful thing. And then like... Nothing else. Nobody wanted to trade in their shit mm-hmm. until fucking after the iPhone came out. It was it was it held its own for like an actual long time, too. It was like nobody really wanted to try the new touchscreen phones because they weren't that good at first. Mm-hmm. And then then the Sidekick came out and that thing fucking blew up. Yeah, I remember that. Fucking slide out keyboard and yeah, and it was like know? what? what? <laughs> yeah, that I think that was like the next most popular one. And it, those were, like, fighting back and forth. Everything was, like, iPhone was really fighting for its place for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then took the fuck over. And it was uh, it was actually IBM that designed and released the first smartphone that had an LCD touchscreen. It was called the Simon, and it was priced at $899 in 1993. That's a lot of money in 1993. <laughs> Yeah, but I have a touchscreen phone in '93. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, because I remember, <laughs> I remember being being like a kid in like the late '90s, early 2000s, and it was it was still fucking little LCD like Nokia phones and shit. Yeah, think about this, motherfucking science fiction always got it right. Mm-hmm. How crazy is that? Like, I'm always looking forward to stuff from movies now because like how often they really get it right. Like science fiction is really known to always really be like spot on. And they had cell phones pinned. Yeah. It wasn't exactly what they thought, but fuck, it's damn near close. You Mm -hmm. know, it's like a fucking a brain in your pocket. You know, it's like artificial intelligence, like we were saying. And it's pretty nuts. It's pretty nuts, man, that, that we have these things. You know what the numbers are? Did you look that look at that thing and sh- yeah. show you like how there's more uh, there's more phones in the world people. than people? Yeah, and they're fucking they're multiplying five times faster. Yeah, yeah. It's I I read crazy. a stat about uh on let's see where is it? Something about the fucking iPhone and how in 2012 Apple sold more than 340 thousand iPhones a day, which is four every second. So if they're selling for a second, they're manufacturing them like crazy. And these things are just pumping out, man. And I think that uh, there's there's this theory that I've heard bouncing around 
that I really like. I think I've talked about it before on the show, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll repeat it. <laughs> Let's uh it's like like uh like technology and you know like like the computers and this everything's getting smarter and becoming more aware and once artificial intelligence is created and this technology becomes sentient and aware then it will easily be more powerful than humans and you know there's a lot of different ways for it to go that like you know they'll destroy humans because humans are like the number one risk to humans and to the world and take over but there uh there's people that say that they the technology progresses enough to get us to be able to like either leave the planet or just a few of us survive and it knows that if it keeps us alive <clears throat> that we will always create it like we will always create this being and even if something happens and you know the universe is wiped out if it still does something to keep the human race alive then eventually throughout years and years it'll progress again the human race will become smart and do all these different things and then eventually create technology and create this super being and it knows yeah. that after so many millions of years that it's going to be back and that's nothing that's not a weight to it cuz time isn't a thing you know what i mean yeah so you know it really could be going down that road so where technology is all this is like an inner working web everything's connected all this well, knowledge i believe it it is going to be part of us at some point yeah, and I I just don't know how. I don't know if it's gonna be like, I don't know if we're gonna be like plugged in somehow or like, you know, I I I can't tell you what it's gonna be. Or if they know. could, or if they could download your consciousness. Like I in think all it'll the new be movies. more of like a brain manipulation. I think it'll be more of like, like inserting a fucking computer chip into your brain that allows you to fucking connect through telepathy and things like that you know like i i think that's what it's going to be i think it's going to be some they're going to there's going to be some way to hack your brain to make you be able to hardwire with anybody else yeah or everybody you know yeah like, that i think that's where it's going to go i think because look the way that the internet works right now and the way that like cell phones work and the way you know they are doing that already so like the progression for a cell phone to just continue to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller down to fucking the chip size that is just going to be implanted in you. You know what I mean? It's going to be like, that's the natural evolution of it. I feel like it's going to be because like eventually look at where it's going already. It's going to contact lenses and it's going to complete immersion with virtual reality and things of this nature. So I'm telling you, it's going to be like, yeah. eventually it's going to be, have to be all in one. It's going to have to be a part of us. It's not going to be able to be, there's not going to be able to be a third wall anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, there's not going to be any more veil. There's not going to be no screen or anything like that. It's going to be through your fucking eyeballs. You know, it's going to be like your vision. Everything you need to know, you're going to be able to see through your eyes, you know, internet, whatever, anything you want to know, facts will pop up, fucking yeah. do, 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 like you will be a fucking, you will be a evolved human, you'll be like the next level of fucking yeah. where we're going to go from there. And still, even once we get to that point, I still think people will be so fucking dumb that they won't be able to use it right. Yeah. And it's like, it seems that people aren't aware that they have a second brain in their pocket. Nobody uses it. Nobody if, uses if it. If you don't have the first brain, the <laughs> second one doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, there's so many fucking idiots out there. It's, it's true. And it's like, you know, so many people are misinformed. So many people just like to spout off shit that's not true. And so many people go, I don't know. I don't know. You should know everything because you have the fucking answers in your pocket. You literally have the answers. Like, what if it was written down on a piece of paper? Everything you need yeah. to know. And you can just pull it out and look at it. Well, and then it's all manipulatable at the same time. Look at fucking Google's manipulating people's searches. Yeah. If you don't search the right way, it's going to pull up bullshit. It's and doing it, It's doing everything it can to not search right because it doesn't want to give you all the exact things that you're looking for. Yeah. It wants to make you look hard. You know what I mean? It wants and depending to make you use on, their shit. Depending and, on where you live, you're going to get different results as well. Yeah. And, 
you know, it's like they pander to fucking wherever, you know, and, and that's cool because they're a business, but at the same time, I mean, like, for us to truly be connected, there can't be any bias. It needs to be, like, free. Yeah, like a universal information for everyone. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, and it's like, uh, you know, it's the information that's out there if you know how to look for it and how Most to people don't. and how to sift through it all and yeah it's sad even us even like people who use it every single day like are still having troubles getting the right shit mm-hmm. you know it's it's ridiculous how hard it is to use it and it wasn't this way before you know it's like now it's completely manipulated it's like changed yeah well um most most popular phone by far was the 1100 Nokia 1100 Yep, I still have one of those actually. And it's sold. Oh, um, hold on, sorry. Getting a call. Getting a call on my 1100. Oh, shit. Yeah, it sold half a billion. Half a billion units. Damn. Of just the 1100 in 2003 to 2005. What Holy the fuck? Shit, bro. Okay, other ones like the twelve hundred sold uh hundred and fifty million. The thirty two hundred sold uh hundred and sixty million. Sixty six hundred, fifty two thirty, those both sold hundred and fifty million. That's crazy. And, and then and then that fucking Samsung comes along. Yeah. Samsung sells 150 million and then it's Nokia again and then Motorola with the Motorola Razor. <clears throat> that was a really popular phone. The Razor was fucking crazy popular. Yeah, it was. It I still I phones. still see people that have them every once in a while. I know the people hung on to those super nostalgia and those sold at 130 million in 2004. Um iPhones. The most popular iPhone on this list was iPhone 6, 2014, 2015. Yeah, that's probably just because every time and, that they every time they put out a new one, they sell more than they did of the last one. Yeah, and that was only 100 million. Yeah, that's what it looks like on this list. They go in order. 100 million, <laughs> man. 100 million iPhones? You guys ain't got shit on a motherfucking half a billion Nokia. Right? Who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought? That's that crazy. That was like, I think it was because it was affordable, and and that's really it. Yeah, it was affordable and you practical. Know, it, it was simple. It did its job. It fucking it, it worked off of SIM cards, so it was easy to replaceable if it was broken or lost or stolen or fucking whatever. You know, it was like it was the shit. Fuck yeah, still holds up, man. Yeah. And it had the game that started all phone games. And still is, uh, still at a lot of places is praised as the number one mobile game ever, and that is Snake. And I remember out playing hours of Snake. Yeah. That was just a fucking snake on the screen, all just in black LCD, and just eating little fucking, eating, eating little things, eating little dots. Yeah, I remember it too. And I remember, I remember that fucking thing that Nokia having all the. Uh, different changeable cases and shit you can have like all the different color outsides pick whatever you want they just snapped on and off it was like it was so smart and that's why it was so loved i think like what about an iphone today what if you could get your iphone completely customizable pick out whatever colors you want pick out whatever hardware you want pick out whatever fucking color screws or buttons or fucking whatever order it like that way completely 100 percent customizable not and not cost you like anymore really yeah you know like i I think uh, like i think they would shit on everybody i know that they made a uh an iphone 5 black diamond that cost 15 million (laughs) dollars it takes nine weeks for them to build it for you it's made of 135 grams solid gold 24 carats and the chassis is inlaid with 600 white diamonds. Yeah. That's so nice. that's uh like where's the in between? Like can I just get like a goofy like like a goofy dog on on it? I have to get diamonds and fucking gold and shit. Diamonds, I have to pay bang, bang, 15 bang. million dollars. I can't just get a picture of like my kids or something that I don't yeah, have. Yeah, they they have <laughs> like the solid uh, gold ones and shit too. They got um 
the crazy ones. A lot of people had really like custom ones made, all kinds of celebrities, rich people and shit. Yeah. It's pretty cool though. It's pretty cool that like you can do that if you want to do that, you know? I can't imagine that. You want to get your phone stolen? <laughs> well, I, it just like phones are obsolete within six months. Yeah. You know? So I don't know why you'd want to pay $15 million. Yeah. I mean, and then like your phone not be worth the shit. Yeah. Like internally. And that's, and that's what, you know. It'll be a rich case. <laughs> right? And you were saying uh, they do. They change their obsolete every six months. If you get a phone and then another phone comes out and another one comes out, then you get dropped down to like lower service or you lose your service and altogether. I had to buy a whole new phone because they changed towers and they were like, yeah, your phone isn't supported anymore. It's old. We don't even have, after like six months, you can't buy cases. You can't buy accessories for your phone. No. They're all so, gone. So, yeah, think about this. I'm kind of waiting for like the next gen thing. Soon there's going to be something else besides a phone. You know, like um Apple almost had it with the watch. Yeah. They almost had it, but they fucking blew it by not um giving it its own SIM card because you have to have your phone in your pocket. Yeah. You have to have your phone on you for the stupid thing to work. Yeah, so, so it defeats the whole purpose of it. <laughs> it literally is pointless. Yeah. And like everybody I know who has one, either somebody else bought it for them or that's really it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cuz every one of them says it's not worth it. Yeah, instead of instead of just having your phone, now you need your phone and your phone watch. Like you just have more stuff on you. <laughs> yeah, I mean like maybe it's convenient to like not have to hold a phone so you can wear it as a watch or whatever. I guess that's kind of convenient, you but know, at, but but at but the same to have time to have like, your phone in your pocket. I mean like that's stupid. You yeah. know that what why? That's yeah. another that's another thing tethered to you that you can't fucking That's two escape things from. two things you have to charge. Two things fucking <laughs> radiating your body. Yeah. That's another thing that's huge is that uh there's all types of things, there's all types of studies, so it gets really mixed up, but um insomnia, confusion, headaches, uh all kinds of radiation things, and I know that the blue light from your phone too like at night if you are looking at your phone and it has a lot of blue light coming through because that's how the screens are, then it tricks your body to being awake because it thinks that it's the sun coming up and the blue sky. So, cause that's how, that's how your body's supposed to work on its like natural cycle. So that's why and people, people are on their phones all night and then they lay down and they can't go to sleep. Everything works on, uh, radio waves and shit too. That's how our microwaves. Yeah. And Which they, is basically radio waves or whatever, and that shit fucks with bees, um, <laughs> bees, and like all kinds of things like that too. Yeah. Besides people, also. Yeah, that's why we're <laughs> not know, just like, hurting ourselves; we're hurting other people now. <laughs> and yeah, other things. Our our airspace is literally like filled with microwaves everywhere. Yeah, it's like it's it's poisoned in a way, like tainted. Yeah, it's like our atmosphere is mic microwave. Yep, it's pretty and, nuts. And it's fucked up that it uh it, it does it confuses bees when they're trying to pollinate and go back and forth. It gets them all turned around and they don't know what they're doing and they act all sporadic and confused and shit. So you know, it's uh that's that's the price that the world pays for us to have the convenience that we don't use. You know? Yeah. We could uh we could play games on our fucking computers. We could play games all day. We could play games all day, but that's not what we do here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, most popular ringtones. Yeah, this list of most popular ringtones is dope. Yeah, we're I, just gonna do the top ten. I agree with I agree with all of them. Number yeah. ten is "I Feel Good" by James Brown. Yeah, I I know a lot of people have had that over the years. Probably mostly old people. Yeah, as I look through all these, I I can hear all of my friends' phones ringing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely know who and when. <laughs> they, they had these fucking ringtones. Yep. And then number um, nine. What's up? Number nine. Number nine is Night Rider. The Night Rider theme song. And that's a staple here. And if you've ever listened to a fucking guess that theme song, it's been played a hundred times. Right. Yeah, we always play it, and we go, "What's this theme song?" Bet you don't <laughs> know it. 
Number eight is the Pink Panther theme. That's a yeah. gold one too. Yeah. These are all iconic. Yeah. Mad iconic. Num- number seven is the original iPhone ringtone. Yeah, and that a lot of people still use that. That's still a thing now. <laughs> Says uh people shrug their shoulders and say, That's good enough for me. Who has time to worry about ringtones? Yeah. <laughs> That's just for people that don't don't know how to change the settings on their phone. Or just don't give a shit. Or don't care. They're like, who the yeah. fuck cares, man? I'll listen to music if I want to hear music. Uh oh. and then number six is Lights by Ellie Goulding. What the fuck is that? I don't know, but that's crazy. Yeah. That she has a song up here because she's the only one in the top ten that has That's just a person. Yeah, that well, I guess. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but um yeah, so that's that's an achievement. Uh huh. Shout out to her. Um, number five is the Power Rangers wrist communicator ring. Oh, that is shit. Um, very specific and very <laughs> uh, memorable at the same time, you know? <laughs> yeah. I remember it for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, number four is Party All the Time by Eddie Murphy. Nice. Yeah, that song was dope. I can't believe he did that shit. Yeah, that guy was a fucking G, dude. Yeah. He ran, he ran the world. He legit did. Mm-hmm. Number three is Hello Moto. Hello Moto. And I guess that's from Motorola. I guess so. I'm assuming. Hello, Moto. Is that just what it says? Or yeah, you don't remember that Motorola ringtone? Uh, kinda. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look, Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. I probably should have. Here we go. Let's see if this works. I got it. I got it. Hello, Moto. Is that it? <laughs> yep. Hello, Moto. <laughs> uh, number two, with a fucking solid number two, mm-hmm. the Imperial March, Darth Woo! Vader theme. Yep. And that's always, that's the one, that's the one yeah, that's, that's always set, that, that's always like your wife's ringtone, like your mom's ringtone. It's always something like that. So, or your boss. It's yeah. always it's always used in movies. Like it always pops up, and someone's like, "Oh, my wife's calling," and it's the Imperial yeah. fucking Death March. Yeah. And then number one ringtone in the Num- entire world. Number one, best ever. This is it. The Nokia tone. And there's no wonder why. Yeah. Half a half a billion people had this phone. And it actually, uh, it says it says here, and it makes sense. That there's something about the succession of broken chords gently lowering into a still plateau. The famous Nokia tone is a versatile ringtone. It relaxes your nerves before being forced to take a difficult call. And it also complements our giddiness when we get a highly anticipated callback. So it's like, depending on what the call is, it does different things and like settles down your brain and fucking kind of like resets you. And you're like, okay, gets you all zombified so you can have that conversation. So I think that that's just some sort of earworm. I think that's definitely an earworm. And that just fucking barrels into people's heads. And it doesn't really piss people off. You know what I mean? Well, that combined with sheer numbers, yeah. I mean, like, everybody had it. Yeah. Legit, legit, everybody had it. So where there was a time when you just... That's why everybody knew. There was a time during my childhood when you just heard that noise constantly throughout, throughout the world. Yeah. And it was piercing. You could hear it over anything. <laughs> it was the only one there was, really. Yeah, that was it. It was that, it, or it would go. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's wait. a few other rings, but before we get out of here, we're gonna provide you guys with some free ringtones. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna give you the Nokia. Give me some dead space. Okay, <laughs> now we're gonna give you the bubble. All right. All right, you want to knock one out? Nope. All you right. got this. We're going to give you the windy hallway. <laughs> slam. That was a door slamming. <laughs> uh, we're going to give you rain on the windowsill. All right, that was dope. And then, uh, then the last one for you is gonna be, um, uh, it's gonna be crumpling paper. Oh, 
Nice. All right. There's your natural habitat ringtones. Those are all natural. Yeah, they were. <laughs> I've seen them. <laughs> Fucking A. So, uh, uh you remember when that was a thing when you had to buy ringtones? Yeah. And now there's just ringtone makers and all these different things. You could just download them or make your own out of a song. It used yeah, to be. Yeah, that was always cool. Yeah, it used to be you had to pay like two ninety nine for a ringtone. And then there was ringbacks where it would play a song when people called you and you had to pay every month for that shit. Dude, on a Nokia phone, yeah. you could create your own ringtones from the keypad and record oh, and save shit. them. I forgot you know all that about shit? that. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> and then I remember. Oh, so funny. I remember there was like, there was songs. I remember in the early days of the internet when I would like go on AOL. Lamb and fucking- yeah, and it would tell you how to do it. It would be like three, four, four, seven, eight, nine, seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you would just sit there and fucking type shit in and just kill yeah. your phone battery playing so songs. So funny, right? Shows how fucking old we are. Jesus. Right. Way to go. Way to go out. That's dope. All right. Well, uh, we've been, um, we've been recording for a while, so I got to check my phone. All right. All right. Uh, everybody, thank you for joining us. Check your phones. <laughs> you, you're on it right now, probably. So that's, that's probably the greatest thing about phones and the way that they're progressing is that everybody has one. It's like 90% yep. of people have phones and there, it used to be you had to pay for data. A lot of people have a lot better data plans or unlimited data now and people can do things like listen to our podcast and find entertainment from places that aren't television and movies and radio. You know what I mean? Just things that are all filtered and just certain things given to you. You can find whatever you want. You can find anything about anything on the internet. So thank you for finding us. Yep. Natural Habitat Recording.